John. Yes. Can you give me some background on the protest today? Oh yeah, my name is John Williams. I'm with Frack Free Mahoning Valley in Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, but we uh, keep our eyes out and uh, ears open for anything that, uh, any destructive processes that are happening within the Mahoning Valley. Anyway, um, I was at the Trumbull County um, meeting about injection wells because, you know, Trumbull County is really concerned about all these injection wells and the fact that Trumbull County has been turned into the uh, toxic waste dump of Ohio. Uh, anyway, Trumbull County is trying to figure out how to zone these things so they can control, have a little bit more control. Seems they're a little bit upset now that they have no local control. Uh, seems to me they should have been worried about that earlier, but I guess a little late is way too late for them. Anyway, while at that meeting, a lady from uh, OG, which is the Ohio Oil and Gas Education, uh, it's the arm of the oil and gas. They go around and educate kids as to why this is safe. Anyway, um, they had a flyer there that uh, said what kind of uh, the chemicals they're using. It was complete, complete crap. It was truthful, but some crap can be truthful. Okay, anyway, I took that chemical list and I began to investigate on the internet as to the chemicals that are being used in this area. And while I was doing so, I checked out the Halcon well on the ODNR website and I found this I found the cement log. And in that cement log, the Halliburton covered their butts quite well as they blamed the uh, the Halcon employee for hooking the cement pump up to the wrong valve and they cracked the casing. So we know that a, a casing was cracked at the Avalon 1H well right here in Vianna Township, which is where we are today which is part of the reason we're here today. Uh, the other part of why we're here is because about eight months prior to that, at the Meander Well, which would be the, uh, the Cato Well on Blot Road by Meander Township, um, or Jackson Township, they had the same thing happen, except that time it was equipment failure. Their, their gauges weren't working correctly, so I guess the Halliburton decided to give it go on ahead and do it anyway, gauges or not, and they cracked two casings. So, we have cracked casings and casing failures in Meander's watershed. We also have cracked casings and casing failure here in Vianna Township. And the funny thing about both, if you live in Vianna Township, you get your water from one of two places. You either have your own home well, which uh, the casing protects groundwater and having that in Vianna, a cracked casing in Vianna Township is not a good thing for groundwater or if you have city water and the city of Vianna gets their water from Meander. So the people here in Vianna have a double snafu. Both of their water supplies have been compromised. Once, one from faulty equipment and the second from incompetence of the people working on the rig. That is why we're here today. Okay, and what is your message in like five seconds to people who are watching the video today? Uh, if you don't like injection wells and you're all up in arms about injection wells, but you like fracking because of the money, uh, you've got another thing coming. Do your homework. You can't have one without the other. And to simply say, I don't want injection wells in my backyard is a poor way to think. Okay, thank you very much, John. Whoa. Thank you, Joe. Injection wells have got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Injection wells have got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Injection wells have got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Injection wells have got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Injection wells have got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Injection wells have got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Injection wells have got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho.
Oh, 